What is up guys, these types here with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to put fonts and plugins into Cinema 4D. Um, not many of you guys really asked because we just started up this channel. So I'm just doing tutorials that I guess have been pretty popular before. Uh, this is going to be for Cinema 4D R12. So uh, first we're going to start off with fonts because that's a little bit easier. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to defont.com and type in any font you want. Right now I'm going to be using Bebas or Bebas, however you pronounce it, I do not know. Uh, so you just download that. Um, then what I would do is I would just extract it to your desktop. Um, and this isn't like most of all the other to other things like on GIMP or Photoshop where you just um where you just um drag it to the fonts folder what you want to do is you want when it's on the desktop right here you want to double click on it and just hit install and when it, it, it's going to load this it's going to install and then it'll be installed to all programs that uh... that have fonts and stuff inside of it so that's basically how you uh... put fonts in the cinema 4d it's very simple uh... just any font make sure you extract it to your desktop or a specified folder and now i'm going to show you how to put plugins into cinema 4d uh, right now we're going to be using the plugin Throusy right here which I have and um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to okay on, this is for Cinema 4D R12 on Cinema 4D R11 what you just, all you want all you really have to do is is go into the computer is go into the computer hard drive and everything go to program files or program files x86 but for me it's in normal program files go to Maxon and then uh, Cinema 4D and then go to plugins but uh, that's actually not the thing we're going to use and actually this is the plugin that is supposed to go in here I'll put the link in the description um, but this is not what you want to do you don't want to put it in here I mean you can but it I mean do that first and if the plugin doesn't show up then you have to do it this way so this is going to be kind of a second resort otherwise what you do is you just drag this into that folder so what you want to do is now you want to open up Cinema 4D So I gotta go through this. 64 bit or 32 bit depending on your computer. And just wait for it to load. This might take a little while, but I don't think it will because I don't have much shit on it, but while well, it's taking a little bit longer than it usually does, so it's work with me. Alright, there it is. Alright, this doesn't take long now. Alright, Throusy just happens to be the only plugin I actually have at the moment. I have no other plugins in. But, um, so yeah. Okay, so there you go. Um, Sim 40 opens up. And you don't go to plugins. See, there I have Throusy and everything though, but that's not what you want to do. You want to go to Python, go to user scripts, and then go into script folder. What this will do is it'll open up all your scripts which I don't have any because I haven't made any scripts but that's not a big deal so what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see plugins this is a completely different plugin folder from the one before but what you want to do is you want to put you want to drag you want to copy or paste or just drag that that uh, throughout that was there into here and then that will um that will put it into cinema 4d and since you have cinema 4d open to do this what you want to do is you want to close it out and then you want to go back into it and it should be there and now what I want to show you also on Cinema 4D is the fact that the font actually went in and worked so let me see how much time has been on this video uh, 4 minutes? ok that's good um, ok so we're going to wait for Cinema 4D to open up again it shouldn't take as long since it was just open so ok so then what you want to do is you just want to type in MoGraph text, MoTeX uh, type in whatever text you want and then um, go to font wait for it to load up 
Oh, cool. Zero forty doesn't seem to want to respond right now. All right, there it is. And then what you want to do is you want to go up here, type in what your font is, and there it is, right there, Vivas. And that's basically that font right there. Um, the font also I'll demonstrate. It's got italics. It's got bold. It's got just a regular font. It's got practically anything you want. Then you can just play around with the height, the spacing, and everything. And that's pretty much that for this tutorial. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. For you guys that wanted to know how to install plugins, or um, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Plugins or fonts in the Cinema 4D. So subscribe, rate, comment. Tell me if you want any other um, if you want any other tutorials done. And uh, me or Stopski will do them. So be looking forward to that. And Z Snipes out, guys. Thanks a lot. Peace out. Subscribe. Love you all. Peace.